Well, Hold on, let me check. Live from Silicon Valley, it's the Cube covering Google Cloud Next 17. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're live in Palo Alto Studios, Silicon Angle Media is theCUBE. Our new 4,500 square foot studio where we can do broadcasts here. And of course, we're covering a two day special coverage wall to wall with Google Next 2017 in San Francisco. We just uh, had the exclusive video with Sam Yen from SAP talking about the new relationship between Google Cloud Platform and uh, SAP, SAP HANA, and also SAP Cloud Platform. And on the phone right now with reaction to the news in San Francisco is Akash Agarwal, GVP with SAP, CUBE alumni, good friend. Uh, Akash, welcome to the, to the CUBE coverage and thanks for taking the time. Thanks, John. Look forward to uh, helping out. So Akash, you've been intimately involved in a variety of very cool things with SAP. One of them has been the Apple announcement where you guys have a strategic relationship with Apple Computer. And at Mobile World Congress, you've released the general availability of the developer kit, SDK, now shipping. On the heels of that amazing news, you now have a deal with Google Cloud, um, also have a deal with Amazon Web Services, to be clear, but this is a pretty comprehensive strategic deal. All the heavy hitters flying in from Germany. We had talked to Sam, we're talking to you. What is the reaction in Moscone and San Francisco around the SAP Google relationship news? I think, uh, so the reaction is, I think, very positive, and I think uh, what this sort of shows uh, everybody here that, uh, you know, our friends at Google are very serious about the enterprise, and as such, they have, uh, you know, extended a very warm uh, hand in partnering with SAP uh, and bringing, you know, to what I what I call, you know, transactional and enterprise workloads onto Google Cloud. And I think that's a very significant uh, change from what Google Cloud uh, was doing in the past. They are supporting all kinds of workloads, but they're now really focusing on helping uh, enterprises kind of transition into the cloud, and I think you know SAP can act as a, a massive catalyst uh, for that effort. It also brings a huge amount of credibility to the Google Cloud platform, certainly in the enterprise. SAP has been a leader, uh, powering some of the biggest business in the world with your software system of record. Certainly the database uh, is evolving, and you've had cloud, you've had HANA, data analytics for many years. I can almost, I think seven years I've been to Sapphire, Bill McDermott, and back then Schnabe Bill, uh, was talking about analytics. This really hits home because Google has a great mind share with the developer community. They actually have great empathy and they understand developers and open source. Certainly they understand you know, cutting edge technology, but now with SAP, this seems to be a nice uh, lucky strike, a lightning strike, if you will, for developers to monetize with SAP because you guys have real big paying enterprise customers that could use some cloud native. Is that how you see it? I mean, help us understand the impact to developers and then the impact to customers. Yeah, so I think the uh, opportunity is, uh, you know, multifold, as I would explain it. So customers, uh, you know, our customers and Google customers, can take uh, SAP workloads onto Google Cloud. And that is in the form of taking HANA and uh, running any applications that run on top of HANA uh, you know, onto Google Cloud. So I think that's kind of one piece of the uh, announcement that we've made today. And the second piece, and I think that's what you're alluding to, uh, is around uh, developers. And those developers could be our developers, SAP 2.5 million developers, it could be you know, a multitude of developers that uh, are attracted to Google and all the services that Google provides. But what they can do now is to leverage um, SAP's HANA Express product, uh, which is a developer-centric uh, product, and then run that uh, on Google Cloud Platform and build applications, uh, you know, that uh, could leverage HANA technology and build next generation of applications, either applications that are net new um, that uh, can take data from any data source or applications that, you know, want to extract data from SAP. And the final thing that we also announced uh, as part of uh, the, uh, our uh, HANA uh, cloud platform or SAP cloud platform is the ability to take the cloud boundary components of our uh, SAP cloud platform and make them available on uh, Google Cloud Platform. And uh, so that, as you can see, is a very rich 
environment. And, you know, we've, given, we've extended Google's palette of services to include the SAP um, platform as a service uh, components to help fast track uh, developers who want to build enterprise class applications that want to interchange data that's already in SAP systems or want to store yeah. stuff in our um, HANA database that is now going to be able to run on uh, Google Cloud Platform. So I think that's uh, what has been announced there. It's, it's quite a lot, and I think uh, over the coming months, developers will be able to get access to that, and uh, they can get access to it on the Google uh, Cloud uh, Launcher Platform. Later today, they should be able to get a copy of the uh, SAP uh, HANA Express uh, product. What is the impact to SAP? Because we spoke recently at the Amazon Web Services reInvent, uh, Akash. Uh, obviously, you have a, a relationship with them as well. But this really kind of gives SAP a new um, you know, set of uh, capabilities for developers that aren't familiar with SAP. And you have a, certainly a huge ecosystem of developers that are SAP-centric. Now a new community is developing for SAP. How do you see that unfolding for SAP? And what are you guys doing in specifically to onboard those developers and really give them the seamless tooling that they need so that they don't have to worry about all the the, the uh, engineering and the back office, database. Well, what goodness are you bringing to those developers to make their life? Well, I, yeah, and I think, look, first and foremost, we've expanded the market. We are giving them access to three great public cloud uh, platforms in uh, Amazon, AWS, in uh, Microsoft's Azure, and now with Google Cloud, with Google Cloud Platform. So now a developer that wants to develop using SAP Cloud Platform and SAP HANA has a choice. And they can now, uh, you know, depending on the expertise that they have, depending on what they want to do, they can very easily leverage any of those three major cloud platforms. We're giving them choice. And I think the world wants choice. And, uh, you know, we're making it easy. So that's, that's number one. Number two are... SAP Cloud Platform enablement teams are there to help fast track people. We're making it easy for developers to start working on, uh, you know, products that are easy for developers, such as the HANA Express, and they can uh, 32 gigabytes worth of uh, data that they use is uh, free to use, and then they can go to SAP Store and get a license key, and then enable that license key on any of the other public cloud uh, providers as they expand and extend their systems. So, as you can see, I think we're giving them choice, we're giving them a lot of capabilities uh, in terms of enablement, and then we're giving them a product which they can get started with, with no friction. So, I want to ask you a question, Akash, because I know you have a lot of industries uh, view of the landscape. Uh, I was clarifying this morning in a blog post and also here on theCUBE that you really can't compare Google Cloud to Amazon. They're two different worlds. You have apples and oranges, if you will. Why, why, what, help people understand real quickly, why, what is the, the Google Cloud all about? Because you know, we really want to separate that conversation. It's not, they're not really apples to apples. It still is cloud, but there are differences. What is the, the key takeaway for, for users and customers about Google Cloud and what's, what's the differentiation for them vis-a-vis -vis other approaches? Well, you know, that's not something that I, I want. I'm not the, uh, you know, the world expert on Google Cloud Platform, and I think that's something, uh, you know, uh, our friends at Google can kind of give you a very good rundown on. But, you know, obviously Google prides itself uh, at, uh, you know, a set of services that are very data-centric. They have obviously decades of experience in running their own services, and they're opening up some of those capabilities and op making them available to their customers. And you know, we felt that we need to kind of double down on Google Cloud Platform and support that, you know, just like we're supporting, uh, you know, the AWS platform and Azure. We believe that these are three major cloud platforms. Each of them have their own uniqueness and capabilities that, you know, that these companies market and, and uh, promote. And, you know, I think it's best that uh, you get someone from, yeah. from Google to comment on, on some of the differences uh, because, you know, I think yeah. there, there are quite a few and I would be remiss at, at uh, highlighting uh, those. That's fair, that's fair, appreciate that. And we'll try to have someone on at five o'clock, which hopefully gets someone slotted in. Final question for you, Akash. What's in it for the developers? Share your perspective on what you're excited about that developers that don't know SAP should be excited about. What's the real opportunity for them? Uh, in, well, I think, I think today, you know, a Google Cloud Platform developer has suddenly a window into the SAP world. And the SAP world is big. It's uh, it's uh, 
very rich in uh, in usage, and you know those customers are large. They're interesting customers doing very uh, complex things, and I, I think it opens them opens them up to grabbing the digital transformation wave that's hitting a lot of customers. And I think what what this can ha- what this can do to those developers is give them a window into a world that they perhaps uh, didn't have before, because uh, today with SAP technology becoming available on Google Cloud Platform, they can suddenly target uh, enterprise use cases that perhaps they were not doing before. These are transactional use cases. Yep. And, uh, you know, obviously, both transactional and analytical type use cases, what we call OLAP uh, use cases, suddenly become important. I think the IoT opportunity is very interesting for developers. Uh, the industrial internet is in full swing. Yeah. And, you know, just coming back from Mobile World Congress, I think that was the theme. Everything is connected. And, you know, we can get you access to the customer record. We can get you access to the, the product, the, the SKU. That's all in SAP systems. And yeah. suddenly, you know, uh, the developer can access those systems to build, you know, next generation engagement applications uh, as part of a digital transformation that yeah. the company may be doing. Yeah, I think I think Google could lean on you guys a little bit too for SA, uh, for partnering with the IoT. Certainly, not a lot mentioned. Maybe we'll hear more tomorrow. But uh, I do think that if I'm a developer, I would look at uh, you guys as a um, innovation ground for using AI and using that data analytics, making it very intelligent. You guys have the you're the store of the data. You have the database. So, congratulations, Akash. Really appreciate you taking the time on the ground in San Francisco. Uh, Akash Agarwal, GVP at SAP, uh, friend of the Cube, a regular contributor here on our new studio programs. Thanks so much for, for taking the time and, and giving us a reaction and breaking down the news for us on the SAP Google relationship. Okay, more live Thanks, coverage. Guys. More live coverage Thanks. of Google Next. Coming right up. Be right back.